Aloha, this is Joshua Hayes with the October 28th stock market report for you to use for tomorrow's stock market session. Well, today was an amazing day in the market as normally is in bear markets as we had another amazing one day where the S&P 500 was able to gain 10.79%, which is this bar right here. Let's look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It was up 10.88%. You can see by the bar right there. Let's look at the NASDAQ. It was up 9.53%. You can see with that bar right there. And then let's look at the Russell um, 2000. It was up 7.6%. You can see that bar right there. Let's look at the New York Stock Exchange, up 10.33%. You can see that bar right there. Now let's go look over at the IBD 100 index, and you can see the bar right there on it almost about, I'd say, 8% move right there on strong volume. But what I want to make clear is... Don't you remember, we've had this happen before in September and then in October earlier, and now we're having again. We had this in S&P 500 back in September and early October, and now again. And right here on the NASDAQ, just once again, September, October, and once again, November. What today is, I will have to admit, out of all of the possible bottoms and everything this one is a little bit better because I have a long that I've taken as a long a few days ago and one idiot named Joshua my name I was well, somebody with my name is a real idiot uh, said that oh that was a bad stock to take for long well dumbass that stock was up 14 percent today and this should just be the start of of its big move because like I told you I go for the big moves I look for 100 500 1000 2000 even heck if I can get it 3000 percent gainers so that means I plan on holding for more than a few days so it took a while but it was up 14 percent today and I'm very happy and also besides that there are two stocks that are setting up with max green bop in their bases with very strong accumulation and good price action. The only problem is one stock has poor fundamentals and the other one is a good stock, but it's thin. And so besides those two and then the new long that I have, and I am going long a stock tonight that is very pretty, but it's just the start. It's like building a bottom of a base and not breaking out from a base, where the stock that was up 14% today is breaking out of a Beautiful base, but not a perfect base. This stock is just starting to make a middle area, and it looks really strong. So it's a little bit different. It looks a little bit better. But I hate to tell you, only having two that I'm actually long that I feel great about, well, three that I'm long that I feel great about because there's another one that I'm long that was up today that has green bop, very strong accumulation, and in a nice uptrend and in a strong industry group. So three out of my five longs I'm very bullish about. And actually, I would say... Four out of five of those longs I'm very bullish about. I actually have to think about them unless I can look them up over. Darn it, man. Oh, man, I... I hate it when I don't have everything ready, but oh well. I think that most of them are up anyway. Anyway, so let's just go look at the indexes. Within this huge downtrend of the S&P 600, today's 7.5% move was barely a blip on the radar. It like it barely happened. And if you people would l look at investing more on a long term instead of a one or two day thing, you can see since the like the top here in October, the Russell 2000 until today was down. 46% and then it was up 7% today. Well, yeah, congratulations if you got the 7% today, but I hate to tell you, unless you got the 46% on the way down, you didn't do very well because you missed a 46% move on margin, doubled, and you only got a 7% move up. And if you got part of the 
Um, let's go back to the S&P 500. If you got part of the 10.79% move today, um, that's great, but that means that you were probably long a lot of this downtrend that was part of a 45% loss. And the hero that everybody watches for some unknown reason on CNBC and reads all of his crap on the street.com, his action alert portfolio is down over 40% this year. Why are people listening to these kinds of, you know, people that do these kind of um, recommendations. So it's just really confusing just to look at everything in the market and see that so many people are calling bottoms again when they've been so wrong. And I just looked through all my longs and I forgot. The one I'm long right now that I forgot about is up 62%. And whenever it first broke out, it was pretty. And its second breakout, it was gorgeous and beautiful. But now because of the bear market, it's trending up, but with red bobs, so it's not as pretty. So that's right. Four out of five of my longs I love. So anyway, let's get back to the market. So unless you've gotten part of the 45% downtrend, if you got the 10% up move today, big freaking deal. That is not important because the important thing is, is that I kept on showing you and I'm going to go show you again in 2003. Look at 2003 when the market goes up the entire way. Do you notice something about the S&P 500? It is above, right here it gets above the 250-day moving average and then moves up above the 250-day moving average all the way up for 27% gain whenever we had plenty of beautiful stocks. Look at all of these beautiful ones that I'm throwing up here. Whenever we had stuff like this everywhere, you know, and it was just like, that's all you got to do is just follow the market's trend. And as you see the market's trend, it was above the 50 to 200 day moving average. So the fact that the price of the stock market is still so far below the moving averages, and I only have four nice longs out of five total longs with only two that are really beautiful and only one that's pretty, isn't really inspiring. And with only two stocks that are basing that have the proper bot volume and price characteristics, this is just not a market that you should be getting excited about. Most people think the United States dollar sucks. Look at the United States dollar. It has been in one of its biggest uptrends uh, ever since it's gotten over the 50 and 200 day moving average in August. That's whenever I got bullish. Since I got bullish, it's up 16%. If you can go out there and get 50 to 1 or 200 to 1 uh, margin on um, the futures contract, the United States dollar, you've just gotten a huge return in one two and a half months as the United States dollar has been in a complete uptrend finding perfect support at the 50 day moving average and having tons of open candlestick bars with tails everywhere tail 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 until these open bars and these tails and this uptrend stops there's no way anybody should be going short the dollar but yet I hear people saying to me all the time the dollar is weak and gold is strong look at gold gold is in a deep downtrend and has been since it topped in March. And let's say that you that, that if you went long in March, whenever the gold ads are everywhere, you've lost 25% on your investment while the shorts have been making you plenty of money. One of the shorts that I just covered that I'm going to go ahead and show you now from whenever I went short to whenever I covered, look at it, an 80% drop. It dropped 80% in one, two, three and a half months. I didn't have it for three and a half months as I went short. Let me go show you whenever I went short. I believe it was that. No, it had to have been right around like... Ah, something seems wrong. Right here. Oh, duh. Right here is whenever I went short. So I'm way off. I went short back here. Here's the exact date. Right there. So 8-5. So there's my 77% gain. I got that 77% gain in one, two and a half months. Two and a half months, 77% gain. That's what happens when you follow the trend. And so everybody that's happy with the big up move today, you've got to realize in the big scheme of things, the market isn't looking too good. It's still well below the 50 and 200 day moving average. And look at the VIX still. The VIX just recently hit 89. So I do want to go long stocks eventually because at 89, any move up in stocks is going to be huge. Even at 66 right now, stocks moving up would be huge. i got to see how much time I've, I've gone through to see where I'm at. 9 minutes, 24 seconds. So i got to wrap this up really quick. Let's go to the – I'm going to go show you the IBD 100 index. Today it had a nice bounce with big, strong volume. But this rally has been so weak in the markets that I wanted to show you that there hasn't even been an IBD. 8585 index. Look at the volume. It know why it's gone? Because there's only like two to five stocks that even 
come into the 85-85 index that fall into the category of being within 50% of an old high and being a strong stock. There's not enough stocks to make up an IBD 85-85 index, so there hasn't been any volume or really any trading besides the few stocks that are on the index. So the market's in bad shape. One day does not make a trend. Today is day one of a rally attempt actually right here with today's up day. So until we get a follow through day and I get more beautiful charts than besides the one that was up 14% today, there's no way I'm getting excited on this market. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up now. This is Joshua Hayes at BigWaveTrading.com. I hope you've learned something. Don't get too bullish. Bottom callers are almost always wrong. You'll get it right once out of 10 times. Hello.